Thomas Dietrich. This is for par on the second. Not a great tee shot, but it's a super par around the middle. Just what you need to start the round. You don't want to be dropping shots, and he didn't. Third at the par five, fifth for Torby on Ollison. Lovely rhythm. Three quarter swing. Taking dead aim. Now the spin. Lovely control. And Alexander Bjork, one of the favourites this week at the start of the week, and it's proving so. One of the best putters on the tour, and he pours that one in at eight. Eight hole, flag over on the left side, and this is a, a towering wedge shot from Jens Dantorp. They're going out the flags today, soft conditions are allowing that, they can't hide them away. And James Morrison, super couple of days for him, he's had a tough season, but you never know in this game, this was for par at 18. Shoot 69, joint leader with Dantorp, eight under par. Wonderful first two days for him. Second shot of the eighth for Kim. Four on the par at the moment. Left-hand flag, three yards from the left-hand side. 18 on, right about there. Ooh, very close to spinning back in. 145 for Cam Pio. It's quite a wet fairway. So it just needs to be careful. He gets the strike decent. How's your luck? That should have gone in. Well, that's, that's uh, I mean, sometimes it hits halfway at the flag stick and it bounces and spins off. I've got a feeling this is very close to the base of the flag. Let's check in with it once again. It was arrow straight. Oh, it's very close. It's only about three, four inches from going absolute slam dunk. Unlucky. Ninth hole, Kiefer for his birdie. Be a nice way to finish his day. Certainly was. Beautiful start from Kiefer. Back in 33. Four and a par for the tournament. He's well in this. Only four behind. Just five iron, really. But the flag isn't doing a thing at the minute. Which doesn't help, because it is there. Oh, cracking iron shot from Molinari, though. Only eight birdies, Anthony, on this hole today so far. Molinari might get one, but it's not playing easy. Yes, never anywhere else. Lovely birdie. Bradbury from the perfect spot on three. Back pin. Likes it, a little bit of a run. Go on, spin back. Oh, that's brilliant distance control. Can't go long there. Almost a tap in for Bradbury. Forstrom. Oh, he's on the 15th, 171 yards. Pins front right. About there. Oh! Nearly in the hole for Forstrom. Terrific shot. Back up the slope once again for Connor Syme, similar angle. Beautiful. Great judgment of pace. More of an outside chance for me. And it's not really defined the break on this. I'm not sure Molinari's putt helped him too much. Yeah. Trying to pitch this all the way, carry that ridge. That looked easy. Oh, yeah. He's on fire now, Dietrich. Got his eye in. On 13. Can he get it close? I can't imagine many have, but you have to go past this. Oh. Get it. Oh. Yes, he can. Good shot. Can't be up. This is a feely one. Good couple of feet of break, right to the left. Almost dropping it in at about four o'clock on a clock face. Yes, he did, dead weight to it. Happy days for Campio because he needs birdies, wants to put a bit of distance between himself and that projected cut. Over the other side, Simon Forstrom with another chance to go top on his own. This for birdie at one, his tenth. Beautiful, well done. Simon Forster and now he's been patient, he's hit good shots, he's kept fairways and greens doing his job professionally and now he gets that little one-shot lead. Zanotti 
for his birdie on the ninth hole. It's a little gathering point. This pin, a little bit of a bowl. So chance here for him. Keep going. Oh, go on. Yes. In you go. Six under par. Oh, how about that? Just as it was swinging the wrong way the day. A little bit of luck, you have to say, that ball was travelling, but it's clattered the flag. Perfect leave, just a fraction down the hill, maybe a sniffer right to left. So the green does slope from back to front, but not much. Yeah, it didn't do much, did it at all, that one. Down the bottom of the hole. That's what it did, and he joins the leaders. Perfect drive from Pepper up right in the middle of the fairway, leaving himself 89 yards, just a flick with a wedge. Oh, yeah, superb. So that's Eddie Pepperell definitely going to move to three under par. Malinari, he's got to be careful, 14 tees, pretty close to the fairway. So they're all just trying to slot in between. Quite a brisk rhythm. And that's oh. a crack. Absolutely turning his day around the right way now. Over to four. And our leader, Jim Wonko, Frenchman, coming out the rough. Did well. Did very well. Quite a lot of fringe grass to go through, Anthony. It's unlikely it stays online, really. So you're right, down here is a chance if he can get the line coming through that fringe. Yes. In off the marker. Yeah, that's tremendous. He did take a couple of wobbles through the apron there, but just found the bottom of the hole at the end. I forgot, no, I forgot. Stunning shot from Campillo. Forstrom on the other side of the golf course. Mr. Green near on six. Just an easy chip. Just easy. Just a big hole and a birdie. Great stuff from Forstrom. Takes the lead on his own. He can get there, I think, really close. Just sit back on it a little bit. We see Anthony's doing uh, <laughs> sound effects from Mr. Wall. Cracker. Oh, go on. I was right, though. Brilliant. Amazing two cut. Retreat to nine under par within one of Forston at the top. Ramsey with his third shot to the par five, 17th, only two par fives on the golf course. Pin on the left, small little green this, and that's an absolute, go on. Oh, Richie Ramsey. Eagle. <laughs> well, playing with Richie Ramsey, Marcus Armitage has got an eagle part. Easy hole. <laughs> Armitage to five under par. Julian Brunt putting down the green at 15 for the bird. Yes, very nice too from Julian Brunt. He's seven under par. He's had a couple of twos in his round this night. There's only three par threes. Simon Forstrom has a chance to uh, get to 12 under here. This for a round of 66. Been a super do two days. Forstrom. So he's going to have the lead going into the weekend. 64 67 for the Swede. It's one of those ones where you almost got to accept four feet past. One thing's for sure, but he doesn't want to quit on it. They played that really well. He was a super shot. It was one of those where you could easily hit that a foot in front of you if you decelerated slightly. He kept the speed up. Yeah, that's great. That really is. Of course, he didn't want to play with the last hole, but he's exactly where he would have loved to have been at the start of the week. He's right in contention. 
And here is Ko for birdie at nine. Yes, the end of his round. Jung Wung Ko. This for 66, putting across the green. Four or three, straight in the middle. Brilliant round of golf. Two 66s. That'll do it. A round of 66, five under par to go with yesterday's 67. How pleased with your day's work? Uh, very pleased. An absolute great scoring day today. Uh, although I drove it really well, I definitely didn't have my best stuff, so I, I thought my scoring was really good. I uh, had a couple of good bounces, uh, a couple of good breaks, but overall uh, a great day, really. I've made some mistakes, and every time I've been able to bounce back uh, with birdies, so very happy with, uh, with a nice round today. Describe how it feels to have a large gallery willing every putt into the hole. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I must say it's amazing. You know, I really you kind of forget how enthusiastic the people are. You know, especially when I play so far away on the other side of the ocean. Uh, you get out here, you see so many people. They're all so excited. I mean, making that putt on the last even four or five, like and see how many people are excited to uh, to see me and to see me play well is uh, is great. It's great for the game of golf. It's great for everyone, and uh, hopefully we can bring some more, uh, some even better atmosphere for the weekend. I was going to say, how much are you looking forward to a weekend in contention in what is really a national championship? That's right. I mean, you know, winning an event is great. Winning your first event is even better, and winning it at home would be just an absolute dream. So I think. Uh, I think uh, I'm just going to try to enjoy and uh, we'll see what happens. We will wish you luck with that Thanks question. Very much. Thanks. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.